shootings, carjackings, and young people being shot. There are more victims in Nashville, and as we recently reported, more teens are dying. So what to do? Tonight we hear from one of Davidson County's top juvenile prosecutors who tells News Channel 5's Nick Barris there's no easy answer to this public safety issue. This is the Davidson County Juvenile Justice Center, a place where young people accused of crimes go to learn their fate. And the most serious crimes are those usually involving the use of a weapon. Aggravated assault can range from a kid throwing a uh, rock at their mom to a young person pulling a gun on someone. The most recent disturbing case making news was the tragic murder of musician Kyle Yortlitz. Two teens, 15 and 16 at the time of the shooting, just last week pleaded guilty to second degree murder. But that's the rare instance where two youth suspects are transferred to adult court. At best, other teens caught with guns are temporarily held in juvenile detention. That's our number one rule. If a youth comes in on a handgun, then we're definitely advocating for them to be held in detention. But that doesn't always happen. Kadia Babb is an assistant district attorney prosecuting juvenile cases in Davidson County. She says defense attorneys may argue it's a first time offense or there's a plan for supervised release. If a gun is involved, Bab disagrees. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. If a youth comes in on a handgun charge, we do not think that they should be released. We, we never advocate for release in those instances. But Bab says it's difficult to prosecute when half the time victims refuse or fail to show up in court. Some people tend not to come. Outside the courtroom, Bab says guns need to be kept away from kids. The majority of teens do get their guns, stealing them from unlocked cars. You have to understand that once they get a gun, that has emboldened them, right, to do even more egregious crimes. This may sound odd, but those who do end up in the Juvenile Justice Center may consider themselves lucky if they're able to turn their lives around. Those who do not, well, so far, 41 teens have been shot in Davidson County this year. Six of them have died. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. So sad, Nick. As for teens stealing guns, Metro Police repeatedly post alerts, which we pass along to you, asking the public to please make sure you secure your guns. Don't leave them unattended in the car.